All we right. can do it. Yeah, let's, let's do, do it. it. Let's do the thing. All right. Okay. Let's do it, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. This is when the yeah. DM starts. No, I'm waiting for you to tell me we're recording. Oh, no. We've, we've been recording for a while. Oh, all right. We're recording. Great <laughs> job, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to three, two, one? Oh, no. Solid yeah, start. come on. Stuff. Solid start. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyways. So, who wants to recap about what happened last time? Uh, I can do it. You. So we, yeah. got, we got our world info, which was mainly the Great Displacement, which is... The elves, due to their infighting, were in a weakened state, and the orcs, having dried up their own lands, were searching for new fertile lands and took over the sacred grove, essentially forcing the moon and sun elves out. So those are now some refugees, but the sacred grove still dried up once the orcs got there, so now they're looking for more lands, and all the other races are like, no, no, just fuck off. Stay out of our land, you're gonna ruin it. <laughs> They're lepers. So, our Orcs characters our were, for, for various reasons, traveling together on a ship run by Captain Bracus Castilion, who is a badass in all rights. Oh yeah. That was attacked by a group of pirates who were dressed up as demons, pretending to be an Orcus flag, Orcus flag, Orcus flag. That uh, kind of a. Uh, struck a chord with our friend Thrust. He wasn't happy about that. And we, uh... We kicked their butts, and now we landed. Yes. And we're on an island of some kind that I've forgotten the name. We're in Dunsel? I call it The Island. <laughs> that's where the polar bears at? I've been to. Whoa! There's a new screen! <gasps> we're this in is the town! The Isle of Geit, that's the name of it. You're in the so you're Isle in the Dutch Hole. You've arrived. Uh, as as was described. And Brachus has let you sleep in, if I recall correctly. And you you had decided to um, talk to some prisoner or something last time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I uh, yes. interrogated yes, him. I, we, I think we got we all the information talk. from him we were going to get. Sounds about right. And... Uh, so now here you are. There's your little ship at the dock. Oh, we're close enough anyways. Mm -hmm. And um, you'll, you'll notice that there's a lot of uh, people around. Um, uh, that's, like, that's because they've never seen a halfling drive a poochie before. <laughs> they've all come to see the, the great poochie. Quite a sight to see. So many people yes, here. That's just... Anybody uh, who's close enough is like, that's a big dog. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm like, I'm like riding on Peachy down there on the dock, waving my hand, going, "Hey, everybody, this is my dog Poochie. How you doing? Where's <laughs> Where's the nearest tavern?" They are not paying attention to you at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be uh, you before know. getting off the ship all the way. Can I talk to Captain Brackus? You can. Okay. Uh, Captain, can I have a moment of your time, please? Of course. Anything for you. Uh, you are offloading goods you are transporting, right? Will you stay in the port for a few days or so? Ah, uh, yeah. Probably about mm, day, two days, whatever it takes us to get the next contract to go out. Uh, we've got our sources here, so we'll be able to get out of here pretty quick. Okay. I might come back to talk to you about something after I asked around town a bit. So I am happy to know you will still be here. No promises, but uh, yeah, I'll probably be here. No, just stay here. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Please stay here. Run along now, little lass. <laughs> okay, I'll walk off. <laughs> he chuckles. He, he called you little, Hestia. I am little. <laughs> I'm like four feet tall. I, I, I know. <laughs> so you turn around, <laughs> and you're off the ship here, and you see what you see in this image. It's um, big wooden houses. Well, not houses necessarily, but buildings. 
lining the street. Sorry. Docks. Julia's making noise over there. Uh, can you guys hear that on the microphone? Are you okay? Nope. Uh, I, I didn't hear anything. Okay, we can't cool. hear anything. So, nope. Perfect. So you see these buildings, and they're made of mostly wood. You'll notice they have thatched roofs. They're not uh, made of stone. They're not, um, you know, castles or anything like that. They they look like uh, kind of strung together. Uh, everything looks like it was built recently, um, but also it doesn't look like it was built well. Um, some of these things are standing on a foundation or no foundation at all. That you know that doesn't look very stable. It's pretty questionable. Uh, and you'll see, like some buildings, like this one on the left, which uh, looks to be uh, a tavern um, with all the red lights, have some stone uh, on the bottom. And you can tell that those places are like a little higher end, and they look like they've been here for a while longer. They're a little more weathered, but they're also still made of uh, nicer materials. So there's there's like gaps between nicer um, buildings, which have been filled to the brim with all these like lower quality buildings. And you'll notice that you see wares, you see tons of food, uh, where, vendors rather. Um, you see people unloading and loading ships. You see uh, people running about and uh, doing all their business. And uh, uh, let, me, let me get a perception check from the group. Okay. Perception. Uh, my <clears throat> minus one. Seven. Hestia. Okay. I got a perceptive. A twelve. Woohoo. So uh Hestia would notice that there's a path going away from the docks and up towards the city, which I will actually give you uh I don't know. You guys can see it on the handout. Hestia's yeah, just the map climbing onto the back of Wesley's shoulder to actually see this path. Because everyone's just blocking your view. They're too tall. They're very tall. So I'm gonna move you. I'm gonna move you to the, um, to the map here, just so we can see Ooh. that. Instead. And you. So you're you're about here. So okay. That's your dock on the left, and you'll notice there's a riverhead that goes up, and there's a path on uh, on the left side, and it goes up to the bridge. So um, get my stupid pointer. There we go. You'll see there's a path right here that goes along mm -hmm. the edge uh, up the river over the bridge. And there's, you know, big buildings and lots of smaller buildings in between uh, all the way down this stretch down here and down here. Okay. And it's mostly uh, from where you're, you're standing, it's mostly fishing um, and other shipping, lots of shipping. You'll notice that there's a lot of goods coming in here. Not a ton is leaving uh, on giant boats. All these giant boats are coming in and dropping all their stuff off and taking the, like hmm. largely empty cargo back. Okay. Um, and you can see just unloading is definitely happening a lot more. And so as you come up this path, you'll see Hestia can see from here that across this bridge is actually like what appears to be a line of people. Um, just all facing towards this way and all just waiting in line. Uh, you'll see almost everyone in that line looks to be pretty um, not necessarily uh, like they don't look wealthy or anything. They look to be peasants and they look to be uh, many of them are elven. You'll notice they're a little taller. Hmm. Uh, okay. Um, I'm okay. going to go to the group. Um, sure. What's everyone's uh, purpose for coming here? Um, myself, I'm just a traveler, but d does anyone have business in the in the town? Should we maybe look for an inn? Yes. Are we staying yes. here for yes. a few days? What's what? What does everyone else want to do? I'm I'm happy to follow anywhere. Um, uh, well, I'm mostly trying to travel with Wesley and get him more. Accustomed to the world, maybe he will come out of his shell more, seeing things. I flinch. I, I, I'm, I, I'm just trying to to make a living, aren't I? Mm. Right. I we should see if there's a guards barracks or a 
job listing board. Maybe yeah. someone's willing to pay for those pirates to be taken care of. Oh yes, yes. Let's do that because because money's yeah. nice. You need you 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 need that stuff to buy yeah, beer my, and all sorts of. All my sorts funds of are getting a little low, so I I wouldn't mind a little that, gold myself. I mean, Some it seems gold like would be fun. you would want to take care of it yourself. Thrust, you didn't really like that they were using an orc symbol on their flag, right? Yes, but mm. I prefer to. Spread the good word of the orc people instead of chasing <coughs> bandits using our image. There are more positive ways of doing these things, you know. Yes, but one bad deed can be more noticeable than ten good deeds. I, if there's if there's some gold on the line, I'll definitely do that. But uh, I'm I'm yes, really yes, up for exactly anything, fun. guys, as long yeah, as I can tell my stories. Miss Lyra, are, are you wanting to, to help the elves, or...? Uh, I'm mostly here just to protect Hestia while she travels around with Wes. And I, and I would say my reason for being here is just because I never have, and sounds like it sounded like you're a fun group of people, and, and Thrust, he's just, he tried, travels everywhere, and I travel pretty much everywhere he does, so... It just sounds We like should fun. go in that tavern right there oh, we could get rooms you... and ask around is this that, that tavern it has red red lights on it yeah very it's pretty. the middle of the day boy yeah you, you know what red red lights mean on a tavern though yes. right that they can afford red lights oh they don't <laughs> that's the beer <laughs> runs they say length for like a river they 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 sell things that um well you know, yes, tavern sell things like beer just... and and food. I wonder what they sell. Hestia's just gonna walk ahead and go in the tavern. Oh, oh God! Does this tavern um, look like a good tavern or a bad tavern? Like a, a divey, or is it like an upper class? Like you said, it was made of stone, but does it look so upper class? As you go up to the door mm -hmm. of the tavern, um, you notice that uh, there is some guards at the door standing on each side. They don't have uh, giant, like, you know, they're not carrying, like, gigantic battle axes or anything. They just have spears. And they're standing there on guard. And as you attempt to enter and their spears come together in, like, an X and block your path and say, uh, excuse me, uh, this is a private establishment. Uh, you won't be allowed in, sorry. If you're looking for a place to stay, we can direct you to the closest place. What oh, is the God. closest place that is reasonably nice? Yeah. Where would you uh, well, put a brother-in-law that you don't hate? Ah, uh, that's a good question. Uh, I wish I knew. I hate all my brothers-in-law. Uh, anyway, there's uh, <coughs> if you go west, excuse me, if you go east of here, and then north up towards uh, the river, to the right-hand side of all these bridges. Uh, there's some nasty parts, but if you keep going to the right of that, you'll find that there's some good taverns uh, as you go towards more of the land merchants area. Uh, it's a bigger town. You know, people are new here, so we understand that, you know, everybody's trying to get in uh, to some place. Good luck, though. A lot of those taverns are full up. Oh, None uh, of... Do you know if any guilds operate in this city? Yep. Yeah. Uh, the guilds will be across the river uh, by the market. Okay. Um, well, what, what, are, you. what are all the, the elves doing on the, on the bridge, if I can ask? Oh, uh, they're probably looking for work. Mm. They've been pouring in here ever since the orcs invaded. <clears throat> Honestly, I feel bad for them. Oh. Is she? Mm. Is there... Are they like homeless is there a place for them to stay or are they just looking for they've work? mostly been setting up wherever they can find a space uh next well, to the they river lost their land aren't they homeless anyway pretty much uh they've been setting up camp uh on the far side over by edgar's farm but uh they're not really welcome over there they've been kind of trying to clear them out and they've been a lot of people setting down temporary housing uh, just north of here, uh, north of the docks, um, between the bridges. But uh, they're not really welcome there either. It's kind of a point of contention, honestly. 
it, it, does this town make anything? I, I, I didn't see much going out on, 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 on the box. Anything that gets made here goes out north. We don't oh. ship things out onto the ocean, really. Oh. I see. That, that, if you want to know more about stuff going out, you talk to the land merchants. They're to the northeast of here. If you want to know more about stuff coming in, you're in the right place for that. Is there a uh, like a, a job board that we could perhaps, or like a constable in the town who is looking for help with things? Uh, we're looking to make a little gold if we can. He takes a handkerchief out of his front pocket and he wipes his nose and uh, gives a good blow and says, uh, as he tucks his handkerchief back in his pocket, it's just a white handkerchief. It's covered in snot. It's pretty nasty. <laughs> and he, he spits and says, uh, well, honestly, the reason those elves are in line is because they're looking for work. Um, most of the places around here, we've got some local lords and people who own land who are looking to get tenants. So a lot of these elves are actually going to be going out onto farms uh, and living there for the time being. Uh, that seems to be what the trend is. They come in the city, but none, nobody living in the city wants them to stay, so they kick them out to the farms. Is there any more, like dangerous work that the uh, elves Jobs that aren't require suited people for. to get hit really hard. Oh, Mr. <laughs> yes, Thrust. Something more fun than farming, because we need something more fun, because Peachy gets bored easily. Well, we have been looking for a guard, but, uh, you know, I don't think any of you guys are going to be uh, wanting to get stuck no, here that, on the docks. That's that's boring. Mm. That involves standing around still a lot. <clears throat> I'd say your best bet is to go look in the same place the elves are. It may not be necessarily the best work at first, but if you call, hang around there for a bit, maybe you'll find something. There's a lot that needs doing. Everybody's clearing new land and uh, working hard to, to make a home for everybody. Is there somewhere yes, nearby? Is there somewhere nearby that sells uh, cheap loaves of bread? That I can definitely help you with. As a fine as a purveyor of fine bread establishments in this city, I happen to know the best one. I'm not necessarily and, looking for best. I'm looking for quantity. Quantity? Well, if you were looking for quantity, then you would definitely want to go... And he points over across the bridge towards where the elves are. And he says, there's a, there's a baker that works uh, just to the north of the market on the corner and uh, they have well not the not the best track record but uh, it'll definitely be cheap okay thank you I let's go no buy bread questions. yes let's go let's go down there and see 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 if we can see more of this big city as you leave, the second guard goes, God damn it, why you gotta be so nice to everybody? And pushes him. Hesse <laughs> oh. is going to run back, pull out one gold coin and just put it in his hand, then run back with the group. And then he holds it up to the other guy and goes, fuck you. <laughs> um, gosh, I mean... I'm just t gonna tell you right now, I haven't had the best history with elf refugees. Um, I'm probably just gonna hang in the back while you guys do your thing. Um, if they're rude to you, I'll okay. talk them with my stick. Well, I, I, I have the elves, I'll talk to them. You, you can talk away, I just... I've tried to talk to them before, and I've... Understandably, they don't like me. I, un I understand why. Oh, they, they probably won't like me then, either. Perhaps we I can hang out together. I don't think they have a reason to dislike you, Wesley. But I... I, I oh, okay. But I, I was thinking, why you wait in line to see if you can find a job, maybe I'll uh, buy some bread. I, I'll, uh, I'll go with you to do that. Shouldn't we Mr. stick Thrust? together until we um, find a room that we could all meet back up at? Oh, that's well, a good it, idea too. If you're in the lane, yeah, I, the line looks like it's going. Yeah. Uh, 
Lyra? Savannah? Hmm? Did you want to say something? I was going to, but then I stopped. So, it's fine. <laughs> okay. Move on. <laughs> how long... Um, let's go... How long... Let's go find a room first. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. Yeah. Room sounds like that. So, up and to the right, you said? So, yep. like, somewhere over here-ish? Wait, I'm clicking on the wrong screen. Somewhere over here-ish? Is that what you meant? When you were yeah, talking? Yeah, close to there, yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's go there then. Okay, would you like to go up the left side or the right side of the docks? Um, Can by we... that I mean, would you like to go... There's a main path pathway, almost a road here. Yeah. And then there's a, a sort of cobblestone road over here. Um, Maybe like to check out the line. Going to the left, just to... Yeah. Just see, to see things. See what's up. Okay. Yeah. So, as you walk up, uh, walk up the side here, you notice that like this area directly here is has like even a little greenery, and you can tell it's like there's some people sitting around, and it seems like it's pretty nice. And as you look to the to the right over here, you notice that there's like a actually really nice um, building. Like, Are you? Looks you, Oddly when, you're saying, when you're saying over here, are you pinging anything? We're not seeing see anything. Nothing. Are you in the GM see, layer? Oh, see that? Yes, I am. Thank yeah. you. Sorry. I've been doing this this whole time. and <laughs> <laughs> You can see this now, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. So the roads are here. Yeah. And then there's a cobblestone path yeah. here. I think we want to go and this way. As you, are, as you get to about here, you'll notice this is actually like green. And there's a couple people standing around looking real tough. But in uniform, uh, like a nice, clean, cot like, not cotton, um, what do you call it? Like, woolen uniform, very, like, stylish. And over here, this building is super nice looking. Like, way nicer looking than all the other buildings. Does it look like uh, an inn? It looks like, um, the way to put it is, like, you know what, like, a bed and breakfast looks like? Oh, okay. Yeah. It looks like that. It looks like almost a house. But like super nice, white uh, paint everywhere. It looks immaculately clean. Does it look um, like we could stay there? It looks like you'll notice that like everybody's in uniform who seems to be standing around, mm -hmm. and it looks like it, it would be sort of a uh, I don't know how to upper, say it. Upper class. Edit. It's definitely a rich thing, like a rich people thing. Yeah. But it's it's like you don't you can't tell much more than that. Okay. I will go to the other place. I mean, I like staying in fancy places, just so you guys know. I, I, <laughs> okay. So... You probably can't stay in the really fancy places. I don't know if they'd like big cats and big dogs. I... That's true. That's not very true. Not everybody likes Poochie, and Poochie, you know, likes everybody, but. I don't know. For some reason, the bigger people get all of a hooch when I walk Poochie into a tavern to get a drink. Okay, so you guys are going to continue on? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as you go up, it goes back to normal. Uh, and it's kind of weird that the that, that establishment like juts out like that, and then you as you keep walking, it goes away, and you go back to the regular docks. And then as you go up here, you see the line becomes clearer and clearer, and it goes all here starts about here goes all the way up and then up here to a sort of tent that's been set up about here a particular tent that it seems to stop at okay uh, you can barely see it from where you are so it would take a um, long time if we were waiting in line yeah the, okay. li the line is hundreds of people yeah and mm, yes we, so... we, we may want to see get to a tavern first can I rooms and... can I investigate or something to like approximate exactly how many people like to the closest ten? Sure, uh, give me a roll. I'll just make something up. Uh, no, I will tell you exactly how many people are in this line. Uh, I'm not going to take much time doing it. So investigation, investigation, twenty. It, it, nice. It, there are approximately. 312 and a half people in this line. 312 and a half. Okay. There must uh, be You see a lot of families. You see a lot of families. There are some of them are sick. Some of them are they're all dirty. They're mm -hmm. nasty. They look like they need a place to stay. They look like they're looking for work. They look really 
sad and homeless. Okay. I'm going to go to Gilbert. Um, oh, no. I've, ignore me. Continue. Sorry. Okay. Uh, no one, nobody wants Gilbert's help. <laughs> up. <laughs> okay. Later up. Oh, here. <laughs> this whole area seems to be the, the area that the man was talking about that you spoke to. The dodgy area? Where they... Yeah, they, they're they not really... Uh, it, it looks like um, fabrics, like blankets and stuff, um, have been strung up everywhere on strings to create the facade that, like, there's some sort of barriers and privacy, but it's really just, like, packed with people. Um, kids running around in barefoot and on the, the nasty streets, people emptying their... their um, chamber pots out onto the street it's disgusting it's the most oh, disgusting thing I, I, oh god it smells <laughs> it reeks it smells like like oh. friggin sewage my oh, god if they're, if, <laughs> if they're not sick <laughs> yet they're, they're gonna be that they should oh Ooh, dang guys don't... this is quite a fragrant area is this their is this their perfume district <laughs> i throw up a little <laughs> in my mouth i need to go <laughs> and i'm like running As past these <laughs> As we go through, I put a little um, handkerchief across um, uh, to Poochie's nose, you know, and, like, tied to round, 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 around his head, because I know he's, like, you know, if we can smell it, he can really smell it. Yeah, and I'm like, I, yeah. I'm like, I'm like, come on, Poochie, fast, fast. And, and, and we just, like, run down the road, jumping over small kids, round boxes, so we get past the, past the area. Dogs like the smell of poo, though. Yeah, <laughs> Pucci does not seem bothered. Poo, <laughs> but not vomit. I run ahead of everyone and, yeah, just try to get away from the stench. Are you gonna go this way? Are you gonna uh, go this way? Or are you gonna um, win? I, I, th I thought we we're going this way. Oh, sorry, I keep being on the wrong street. We we're going this way towards this area where the nice inns are. Okay, so as you go farther away, so this this area here is definitely the worst of it, like the towards the river. Um, and then as you kind of go this way, it gets a little better, but it's not, it's still not great. Mm -hmm. And then as you cross the road here, it, it definitely starts to get quite a bit better. Yeah. So this area is still affected by, you smell it, you hear it, mm -hmm. um, hustle, bustle, lots of uh, coughing, sneezing, people who are sick and uh, you hear like talking and yelling and kids and all that. Uh, I've run uh, to the corner here, just waiting for everyone. Okay, so as you as you get farther this way, it's definitely way nicer. Um, back to the point where you can see here, like this is a big business. Um, it appears to be some sort of like uh, logging business. You see big logs being hauled in on uh, like wagons designed for hauling these logs and then being cut in the building. Uh, you can see uh, other establishments here. And you can see there are taverns that line the the road here, getting progressively uh, less smelly as you go. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I I want to be coming running up down down the road behind Thrust once I realize he's running and just like stop stop when he stops instead of like run it run it into him. You see me throw up in an alleyway. <laughs> like, hey Thrust, where? <laughs> and we're and and we stop so fast it's like those little looney tune cartoons where they stop and they're like you know they still are still going forward and steam comes off their paws <laughs> hey, Gilbert, i'm sorry eh? you got a bit better of me there uh, that's okay that that place smelled really bad i mean i mean they need i've heard of perfume districts but that's just going too far just it just snuck up on me you know <laughs> and I suppose uh, we'll wait for the others. Excuse me, Mr. Mr. Thrust. Um, yes. Would, would you like some water? Um, actually, yes. I need to. Yeah. You have out. a little bit on your shirt right there, too. Um, no, sorry. Not my shirt. Um, yeah. I clean myself up. W rinse my mouth out. Spit it on the floor. Oh, oh okay. That's that's good too. Take I do apologize. I'm, I'm not quite good with. <laughs> all sorts of icky things like shit and stuff it's oh th th that's yeah. fine you don't you don't have to ex explain it in detail you don't oh, see so much shit like in the, the wild smell of poop. well where i oh, came God. from you go into the woods and you shit and then you bury it and then it's oh, gone God. 
Can we please talk about something else? <laughs> yeah, sure, Lash. I think that's a good Poop, idea. Poop's very good at, at making those trenches to, to go poop in, because, I mean, he's the best at it. <laughs> oh. uh, Tess is going to walk up to a nearby old lady who looks well enough and just ask, Um, excuse me, ma'am. What of the taverns around this spot would you recommend? Well, this area used to be all nice, honestly, she says. But nowadays, only the stuff on the east side doesn't smell. Mm. Yeah, it smelled kind of bad walking here. Well, and she points up, and you actually notice, uh, like, for the first time, that there is there is a rather large building, multi, multi-stories, um, sitting up all over all of the stuff that you can see here. Um, but you can only see it like through the cracks and, and crevices. We can't see. Words, like, through the gaps in the in the buildings of the slums and uh, the taverns. But over here is a huge building. Oh, wow. Um, and you notice it's very nice and mostly made of stone. Uh, and so you can see, hopefully, maybe that as you go over that way, it might get nicer. Let's go that way then. I, I don't uh, want to be staying yes. next What's to that? this this place. What's that huge building way over there? She says. Is there any way to get to it without going through the fragrant district? Yes, <laughs> you can go over here, and she points this way, uh, at this road here. Uh, um, okay. And she says that'll mostly not smell too bad. That is Lord. <laughs> Fuck! I wrote this name down. I don't know how to say it. Fuck. <laughs> Lord <laughs> that is Lord Akaro's residence. He would be the one in town who has the most money and who owns the most of these businesses that you see. Uh, how do you spell that name? I will Akaro. I for you. Thank you. Hesty, you shouldn't be asking strangers how to spell things. It's very, it's very rude. I'm asking the DM. I know. <laughs> does, does Akaro, does she have like troubles at all does he need help with anything we uh we're pretty nifty bunch uh, do you know if he's looking for any specialist kind of work she is eating some sort of strange fruit and she takes a bite of it swallows and says if you're looking for work i'd say go that way and she points west across to the, the line yeah yeah, to the line. And she says, most of the people in town go to that line for work. You guys seem a little bit more fit, but, you know, the people who are hiring are still over there. Okay, thank you. No problem, Sunny. <laughs> Ish, then. Let's go, well, if the nicer taverns are on this side So of the I river. guess we'd walk around. Yeah, let's go this way. Towards this building here yeah, yeah and just kind of keep an way. eye out yeah mm -hmm. okay keep an eye out for people may maybe maybe there'll be some wanted posters or something for us to i'm keeping a hand on my meager purse of gold <laughs> as she's keeping her eye out for things that are particularly exciting looking okay even as if you... it's just two rats fighting over a piece of bread it would be exciting <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, as you go down you see you get to here, and there's sort of a entryway, which you can see like down into here. And it looks like there's some sort of boxing ring that's been set up in there. Uh, and there's there's people, uh, and if you recall, I'm trying to remember what time of day we said it was before. I believe we said that it was, let's say it's about noon now. And so there's people eating, uh, and there's like little vendors with selling like meats and cheeses and uh, things you can eat in your hands. And there's a boxing ring, and people are actually fighting in the boxing ring. And it's almost out of place, but but it's kind of tucked away, so you can't see it from the street. Guy, guys, that, love, that looks like some fun. Let's go check, check, check it out. Come on, Thrust. It's, I mean, it's a little early in the day, don't you think? Well, what do you... Maybe if we go back there at night, Gilbert, they'll have special fights and you could enter one. Ooh, special fights. Yes, let's wait. Oh, Mr. Deep Hollow, uh, don't, don't don't fight no one bigger than you. No, no offense. Well, that's kind of hard. All of you big ones are taller than me. 
I think you'll find he's quite good at beating people who are bigger than him. Oh! That's what I, he does. I, I didn't mean to offend. No, no offense there's um, tall one. Does Sorry, he count Mr. as B. Polo. Does he count as big when he's on his dog? Uh, I guess so. <laughs> ah, yes. It does. <laughs> who are you asking? Ah, yeah. Fuji does strike fear in the hearts of my opponents. They both keep so as, we walk, as we walk the path, do we see any decent little taverns? Yeah, so you'll notice that the the nicest one is definitely here. Um, this, this building that's an L shape. L shape? Okay. Yep. Is it? Uh, and... This one's also very nice too, uh, but it doesn't seem quite as nice as this one. They have different styles of the building. We should um, go to the one that's not quite as nice, but still nice. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Uh, I don't know about that. We should go to the nicest one, don't you think? Maybe, maybe when we make some money. I, I, I didn't leave home with much. Normally, the nicest ones have stables for me to put yeah. Uji in. Also, the nicest ones usually are looking for musicians, so perhaps I can get a discount for us oh, by playing nice. a little bit of music. I think the nicest ones usually have musicians they keep on staff. That's true. True. Have we heard uh, Thrust sing yet? We have one. <laughs> yes, okay. yes, he inspired us. I, during, I remember him playing. The battle. <laughs> Thrust sung. I did not. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yes, well, let's I, I mean... To, let's, let's go to the let's, nicest one after we earn more money. Let's go to the second nicest one and see what it's like. Yeah. If it's yeah. if it's nice enough, I suppose that's, that'll do. So you're going to go to the not nicest one? The second nicest yeah. one. This one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> The second class in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting some sound off so we can hear something in the background. Okay, so you're going to that one. Mm -hmm. As you get close to it, uh, excuse me one second, let me look something up. I mean, it looks nice, but you never know until you yes. go inside. In, you, you get there. You will notice that the sign on this on the tavern is uh, a rose, and as it has a red um, bulb and a green stem, and there's a great big thorn on it, and it's dripping blood, and it says the bloody thorn, so the bloody on the top and then thorn on the bottom, oh, uh, in a sort very of welcoming. big bold letters, mm. uh, red letters. But it looks, it, but it love looks like fun. You should check it out. Hmm. Let's go. Oh, all right. So I'll, I'll just I'll open it. I top. I'll I'll wait for thrust open the door. Then I want to go inside there with with well myself right right in Poochie. Yeah, I'll I'll hold the door open oh. for you. Let you open. Hold the door. <laughs> hold the door. Hold the door. Um. Yeah. So what's it like inside? Um. So you, but before you step inside. we go okay. in, I'd like to uh cast disguise self okay and uh I'll, I'll make my horns look invisible and kind of make me look fleshy colored instead of brimson or brimstone okay uh give me that uh what is there a check involved with that uh no, it's, it's no. just oh, okay. thank you it's good for the me. tiefling thing okay okay uh perfect uh so they fail to hold upon physical inspection Add a hat. Objects pass through the hat. Who touches it? Okay. All right. Feels good. And uh, oh, there it is. So a creature can use its action to inspect your appearance and must succeed on an intelligence investigation check against a spell save DC, which is what? Uh, spell save DC would be, I believe, charisma for me. Yep. Yep. It should say it on the sh on your spell. So it would be twelve for you. Uh... You have thir well, 13, 12. It, it's a, uh, it, it's part of my tiefling variant. What, uh, what's charisma your is my spell casting. What's your yeah, charisma what's modifier? Saving? Charisma modifier is two. Yeah, it should just 12. tell you on the spells page. Yeah, but I'm a fighter, so it's not on there. Oh, okay. 12. All right, so 12 it is. Yeah. So, uh, thank you. I just like to keep these things on hand. Oh, and certainly. And so, as you, as you go in, you notice that it has uh, stone on the bottom 
uh, and it's only a, it's only one story, but the walls are made of wood. This foundation's made of stone, and the ceilings are vaulted, so they go uh, come up toward to a point. Uh, and there is sort of a porch on the front, made of a dark wood. And as you go inside, you pass through uh, a great big heavy door, and uh, it's a solid door. And the, there's some windows, but you'll notice the glass is not the best glass, like compared to our standards, you know, in real life. Um, it's a good glass. Like it's it's glass, which is more than you've seen on a lot of these other buildings, but uh, it's not it's not super clear. So uh, as you go in, you see that on both sides there are uh, tables and there's an L-shaped bar uh, made of the same thick, heavy wood as the floor. And you go inside to see that there is uh, a stout dwarf uh, who is manning the bar and shouting at some little boy who is up these sort of uh, like half stairs um, and running around and, and like hanging on the, the railing. Uh, and he's telling him not to. Um, and... Can I uh, grab Thrust real quick after seeing the dwarf? Can I just... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Go. <laughs> yes, yeah. Uh, um... Your Kilbert doesn't like dwarves, right? Um, we should not stay here. Make Let's sure go. he doesn't. No, yeah. we, sh- no, we, yeah, we once, can't stay here. I we have to go somewhere else. I'm, I'm thinking, he may be part of the conspiracy. He won't. Thrust! Thrust! He's a little kooky when it comes to dwarves, so we need to go somewhere else. I, I, I mean, it, why, why are dwarves, I mean... I, I'll, I will cover whatever the extra charge is between these two places, and we'll stay at the nice place, okay? Oh, um, I'm not okay. I'm not willing to let my friend stay somewhere that he's not comfortable. Um, I'm gonna the go. Nicer place is run by two dwarves. Yeah, well, it is run by dwarves. <laughs> um, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go to the dwarf and just ask how much it is for a room for the night. Um, so you go up to the dwarf mm-hmm. and uh, get his attention. He he sort of says, "Excuse me, oh, sir. Yes. What can I do for you? Well, I was just wondering uh, what you charge for a night." For a one oh room. well, we're uh, a bit full up, but uh, I could probably make one room happen, uh, and we'd it'd be a pretty big room. We have pretty good rooms here, and we could probably do it for about five gold pieces a night. Oh. And how many people do you think you could comfortably fit in a room like this? Five, six, ten beasts? Oh Jesus! Uh, <laughs> well. You'd get two beds, and uh, I guess you could probably p- put two people on each one. Is there? What if those people are really small? Do you have uh, facilities for stables, or can our creature friends stay in the room with us? Uh, what kind of creature friends are you talking about? Well, we have a one dog and one cat, but the cat is a little bigger than your average cat. Um... Can he see the cat? <laughs> <laughs> did 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 Lyra come in with I, the cat? I brought yes, I brought Nixon with me. <laughs> Everyone the, in the room is looking at this fucking the, the, the cat. Is <laughs> yeah. a bit, a bit larger than the dog, honestly. I I gesture towards the the cat. Perhaps two of people could stay in the room with the cat, and then the rest of us could find another place to stay. This is um, to the group, not to the dwarf. Okay. We we the dwarf is letting you kind of handle we, it. We can't trust it. This is a dwarf. He may be part part of the conspiracy to take to I, take over my own I, town. I know, Gilbert, but it's we'll we'll let our friends stay here. They seem quite happy with this guy, and me and you, we can go stay next door where it's a bit nicer, and maybe there won't be a dwarf. How how do you think about that? Me, you, and Pucci. Okay. I mean, I mean, if they're comfortable staying with such you know dwarven scum, that's fine. And I, and I <laughs> whisper the the scum part really low, so because you know I don't want to want him hearing my 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 plans. Um, but um, but yeah, let's go on over. Let's go on over, over to the nicer one. Does that suit the rest of you? Um, as long as the dwarven friend here is willing to let uh, Nix sleep in the room. I am uh, fine with anywhere where there is a bed. The, the d- dwarf sees that the conversation has shifted back to him, and he's pouring a drink. He's multitasking here, but he looks at you and goes, "Um, it's not going to shit on the floor, is it?" It's no. excuse me. 
Nix is really smart. They'll go outside. All right. Well, if they go outside and they don't screw anything up, they can stay in the room. Uh, was that five gold a, a, a person? Yes. He looks at you. Excuse um, yeah. me? <laughs> yeah, the, you, you wouldn't mind doing like a, a group discount because because three of us would be staying? That is outrageous. That's well, like... You can stay here this, or you can go find another one. This is that's, why you can't trust me. Nice uh, you yeah, can't do I'm business gonna, like this in see. town. Can I try to intimidate him? You can try. You can't do business like that. This room is not worth five gold. They've traveled around many places. The room itself, for a group, five gold is very expensive. We're doing uh, you a that, favor that'd here. Be Fifteen gold, wouldn't it? Yes, I'm. I was expecting the room to be five gold, and I didn't thought that was a bit of a stretch. Um, and then eighteen. Can I get oh, it down man. a little bit? Yeah. Let's see here. Uh, let me do. A I little... have exactly five gold and four copper. <laughs> um, <laughs> and just so you all know, uh, uh, Gilbert's looking kind of mad right now, and he's actually trying to like he's teasing his lance, thinking like you know a quick thrust will give gives a free rim. Oh, uh, uh, Mr. Grimhollow, uh, that's a very fine weapon you have there, isn't it? Um, um, trying to distract you. <laughs> the, the dwarf yes. says. Yes, the dwarf it is. Says, I... Um. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Listen, listen. I don't want any trouble. The reason I'm trying to charge you more is because I don't want any trouble. And well, there'll be honestly, no trouble if you try to pull one. Giant dog over. sounds like trouble to me. Well, the dog will be in another five gold. I said before. And they better not shit on the floor, and that'll be the end of it. All right, I give him five gold, and I'm like, all right, you guys shittling here. Me and me and uh, Gilbert and Pucci are going to try next door. <laughs> as we, at, as I go past Lear, I whisper, try to see if Nix can poop in his favorite hat. <laughs> he didn't say anything about hats, and I just start to, and I just start no. to start to giggle as I take. And they go, go outside the door. Oh, I think they're going to cause trouble. Oh, uh, what's the other place like? Give me one second. To, it's uh, just to eyes wide see. shut of dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> just naked yeah, dwarves with masquerade dwarves. masks. It's like, it's the greediest, most ostentatious dwarves. So, you uh, want to find... Uh, so As you go, yeah. you go across the the alleyway to the other one, mm -hmm. uh, the one on the end, the L shape, and you notice that it's. Um, how far do you go? How far do you go out to like towards this road? We go to where the entrance would where be. The, to where the front front door so is. There's, at, yeah. there's an entrance here, and there's a porch that goes all the way down. We just go in the first entrance, I think. Okay. Yeah. So as you go into the first entrance, you'll actually notice that they they have some doors open in the back, big, big doors. And those big doors seem to lead out to a courtyard out here. And so there's a bar like here um, and sort of there's a there's like big doors and they, you see barrels and different food stuffs coming in through the big door, unloading off of carts uh, out in this this area. And there's also some stuff going out of the, the establishment, similar barrels, foodstuffs, and they're going out into the carts. So they're doing a transfer of goods. Um, now, very, very important. Who runs the bar and do I get a chance to run them through with my lance? <laughs> um, so you go up and there's a big, burly, burly guy, big guy, muscular, and he's a human. And he has brown hair and uh, he's wearing a green shirt. Uh, sort of with the collar. Looks, he looks like he works with his hands, but he's still uh, like looks very nice looking. Uh, like he's dressed well, and he's uh, definitely of some wealth. Turns around to you and uh, says, "Ah, yes, we never get adventurers in here. How are you guys doing?" Oh, oh, I'm doing very well. I'm doing very well. Do you do you have any rooms for for me and my friend and and my faithful Mount Pucci? He looks at the dog and goes, we've got a stable for that one. That's a little bit big to stay in the room. Uh, but Aww. yes, we've absolutely, we can get you room, no problem. 
What's the uh, the price tag on a room at a, such a fine establishment? Well, you'll know that we're uh, the nicest establishment in town that is uh, not currently under the ownership of Akaro. So uh, I will be honest with you and tell you that we charge 10 gold per night, but you get full food as well as the ability to use the stables. And uh, you also get uh, the ability to talk to all of the famous and uh, wonderful merchants that uh, reside in my town. Do you know, perhaps, if any of these said merchants would be looking for some work or some workers? Uh, uh, what's the gosh around the bar? Well, honestly, uh, I do know, I did hear of a guy. His name, let me... His name is Lord Aldo Forrester. And Lord Aldo actually stays here once in a while. And uh, he owns bunch of land up north and so you guys look like adventurers uh you probably could actually help him out he was mentioning that he's got this issue where since he's moved out onto the land all of the beasties have have been tormenting his builders trying to build the, the farmhouses and stores up there and he hasn't been able to to keep things flowing right because all of his stuff's been attacked by all these beasties Beasties, yeah. um, um, Thrust, is that a code name for dwarves? No. Um, he looks at you like, what the fuck? I, I whisper to this guy, I'm like, my, my friend doesn't like dwarves too much. Uh, is Lord Aldo a dwarf? Like, trying to say it under my breath so that um, he Gilbert looks at you can't like, hear. why would anyone be racist against dwarves? I, and I, I just like. And he, like, and you're an orc, and he's like, what the fuck? I'm like. <laughs> He goes, I would have expected it out of you, but not him. And says, uh, well, he's a human, just so you know. Okay, thank you. Um, Ten gold seems, is that per person, per room? No, What's... that's just for a room. Um, and you'll yeah. get, it's a big room with uh, two large beds. Well, I mean, what do you think, Gilbert? This seems like a nice place. Maybe we could have a drink, see if we can... It's definitely the nicest up. place in town. You look around... The, the bar is polished to a T. You see, like, gold filigree all down the bar. I'm talking, like, every single piece of furniture is made of solid, thick wood with gold accents. Oh, wow. You see there's barrels upon barrels. Any any possible brew of beer that you've ever heard of is, is in this establishment. It is by far the nicest place you've probably ever seen and, as far as, like, inns and, and taverns. does the price include feed for, feed for Poochie? Yes, it does. We absolutely take care of everything for you. All of our customers are mostly merchants, uh, and they don't want to have to screw around with any of that. We're pr the place that prides ourselves on being able to... You come in here, you pay your bill, and you're good to go. Hmm. Oh, okay. Seems, everything seems above board. I just have uh, two questions before we uh, settle on the room. Um, first... Is there, uh, can I draw a bath anywhere? It's been on a, quite a boat for quite a long time. I'm just a bit he stinky. Looks at, he looks at you and kind of like, he's like, what? Uh, there's, of course, a private bath in your room. Excellent. And um, if we stay here, um, we have some friends staying just uh, in the other uh, establishment across the road. Uh, would they be welcome to drink in here with the uh, merchant folk, or would it just be myself and Gilbert here? As long as they uh, keep themselves in order. Uh, we're always welcoming adventurers. That adds a sort of uh, wonderful, exotic vibe to the place, don't you think? I... Uh, if they pay for their yes, drink, they're more than welcome. Excellent. Drink well, I, here. I slam 10 gold onto the table. All right, Gilbert, let's check out our room. I'm ready for a bath. Oh, he right. hands you he hands you a key, uh, and it's a very nice thick key. And he says, "Here's your key. Feel free to return it when you're done. Uh, and oh. when you check out, you can pay any of the rest of uh, the bill." Um, uh, rest okay, I'm, rest of I'm the bill, meaning like um, so if you stay more days. Oh, okay. Like, okay. Yeah, I'm making sure I'm not getting ripped off here. No. <laughs> cool. No. Already, already. And, so um... uh, he points up to you'll see this is actually a two-story building and there's Ooh. the rooms are on the top and the 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 bar and like food establishment is on the bottom uh and you'll see there as you go towards this end oops, sorry as you go towards this end it's like really nice big comfy chairs and furniture like that 
Uh, and then over here is more of just like a bar, bar stools and stuff like that. Uh, so it's more of a lounge as you go this way. Oh, and cool. as you go over towards the lounge, in the middle, there's a staircase that goes up. And as you go up, he says, your room will be the last one on, all the way down on the lounge side. So meaning like somewhere. Excellent. Okay, okay, okay Thrush, you go and have your bath. I wanted to go take Poochie out back to the um, stable so, so, so I know which one he's staying at. Cool. Uh, we'll do that. All right, yeah, so, uh, oh, and before you leave there, Thrust, I'm going to give you um, five gold for me, so, you know, so it's like a half-half deal. Mm -hmm. Okay. I will add that to my um, character sheet. All right. And uh, so, so, like, I'll take Peachy out back, and, you know, I'll let him groom and stuff. I just want to know where, what stable he's in, so I know if, I know if, if in a hurry I can come down and run and get him. Mm -hmm. um, um, so he points you, he actually even waves you to go through the double doors, Um to the side of the bar, uh, if you want to okay. take him that way. Yeah, which whichever is easier for the guy because he's yeah. being very friendly. He waves you right through and says, "Pick a stable, anything, and uh, just go ahead and put." Uh, he points to the key and says, T "Put the number on that key, on the on the next to the stable. You'll see the wooden slats. You'll figure it out, and go ahead and and leave the the pupper over there." Okay. All right, so yeah, so so I'll do that. I'll, I'll unhook his like saddle and stuff. I assume they have a place for for me to put his sass. Oh yeah, this is here. like super super nice. Oh, okay, yeah. So I'll put, put like this saddle down in the gear, and oh, yeah. um and unless there's somebody there to brush Poochie, I'll start to brush him off. But if there is, I'll l let them do it while I keep him calm because he's not used to other people. Uh, there isn't anyone on staff waiting there. Okay. Um, like okay, then I'll... they're they're all helping with um with the the cargo okay so so i'll probably take an hour getting pg saddle down you're brushing him down with and make sure you like he doesn't have knots or anything feed him some food and then make sure he falls asleep i'll go back up to up to my up to the ring to see how um thrust is doing i'm naked in a bath yeah, well, it's not not like <laughs> I, I haven't seen you naked naked in the creek in the creek creek water, so it's not too devastating. There's like incense it's burning. The there's some candles. Oh, yeah. I'm like reading a <laughs> Everyone's book. Everyone's seen a bark yeah. now. It's yeah, super I, nice. I'm I'm just imagining this great half fork actually taking a bath with like the the tub is like so, is like you know it's big enough for a person, but orcs are kind of too big, so it's like his head on one end, his feet sticking straight out of, of the tub. <laughs> There it's, weren't like there's bubbles everywhere, like providing just enough, you know, protection, and, <laughs> and, and it's like and it's just in there trying to give himself a bath. Hilarious. Yeah, uh, Gilbert, you're back. I must say, in the uh, oh, trading yes. camp, we didn't have baths, but I've grown quite fond of them in my travels. Um, I won't be much longer if you want to jump in after me. Um, well, well, I might, might want to change the water because no, no offense, oh, friend. You can't tan to be a pretty um, <laughs> smell, smelly bunch. Yes, well, I, I do try to help with that. Um, yeah, and I suppose I just get back into my fine clothes and uh, go to the other place, seeing what the other guys are up to while he's having his bath. Um, um Miss Miss Lyra or Mrs. Lyra, Miss. I um, do, do, do you mind sharing a bed with with Hestia tonight? I was gonna laugh if he was gonna ask this whistle night flyer. <laughs> yeah, he's got a bad game, yo. Mm. Sounds like it. I don't need to share a bed with anyone. I'll just sleep with Nix. Nix is really soft. You, you, you say that now, but I, I keep finding you when I wake up. I make no promises about changing spots. I, that's that's what I was saying. Mm. I make no promises. <laughs> I'm just um, imagining Lyra, the Nyx, and then teeny tiny Hestia. They're right, right, <laughs> right there in the tummy, when the cat just like kind of like curling up. You know how their legs do when they're holding on to something. While it's sleeping. the coziest spot. <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> Do you think the others got their room? I don't know. I didn't hear any fighting. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Lyra, I made you something while we were on the boat. And Hestia is going to pull out the vial of poison she's just been carrying. Is there a, a wash bucket in the room? Oh, sorry. Um, so you guys are in the Bloody Thorn, correct? Yes. Yep. Okay, so as you're in, you get up to your room, it's pretty nice. Uh, mostly hardwoods. Um, the beds are feathered. Uh, they're pretty nice. And you see that there's a big wardrobe. Uh, two, so there's two beds, uh, as, which is quite, <laughs> quite good for this kind of uh, era time, uh, so to speak. And you'll see that there's um, a wooden bath that is sort of against the wall. Uh, what were you looking for? A place to wash it up. Yeah, so there's a wooden bath against the wall. It looks like someone appropriated a barrel. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> a sideways cut barrel. <laughs> yeah, uh, and it's it's a big barrel, but it's still a barrel. Um, well, uh, if they're still in the room, I still have my disguised self. So it, it, it's a uh, it's like a Ken doll. You know, you can't see anything. <laughs> oh my I'll, God. I'll uh, kind of timidly like take my clothes off, jump in, jump out real quick before it wears off. <laughs> Best use of disguise self. The secret well, I, nudity. Awesome. Secret I, nudity. I, 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 you were looking at me. I don't. I don't like it. I mean, you were wearing your magic, so. I, I still, it, it makes me self-conscious, Estia. Any I've chance seen you before. that it any, doesn't really matter. Any chance that the window from our room is looking into the window <laughs> of their room? But not even remotely. No. <laughs> <laughs> it would just be. It would just be hilarious if you guys look through the window and there's me in 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 the tub, way waving at you. <laughs> Okay. Hello. So. <laughs> That's right. I, for, I forgot our, our building's a two a two story. After uh, playing with Nix for a bit and handing Lyra some poison, Hestia's just going to. Uh... Um. So should we go try to meet up with the others and see about finding some work? Um. I, I guess so. If you don't think having a tiefling's gonna make it more difficult. Hmm. I don't think so. I, I we put also my hood have back a giant up. cat and a giant dog, but no one really cares. I don't think. So, so walk out. Gonna, go, go, walk out? Go, yep, go I'll check be, on the others. I'll be at the bar in the Bloody Thorn, was it? Just talking yep. with the a dwarf waiting for them to come down as Gilbert is having his bath. And... Plus, did they not let you have a room in the other place? No, we sh uh, we've we've got the room all shut up. Actually, we might have a, a good chance at finding some work over there. Apparently, there oh. are some merchants that uh, partake in the uh, public house thing stuff there, uh, and they sometimes look for work. There's one guy who apparently he's like building things and all sorts of crazy beasties are like attacking so maybe we should talk to him oh, that could be interesting yes well um i was uh, i plan to spend the night play be talking to people in the bar uh trying to find some jobs but doesn't necessarily mean we all have to do that uh i'm you know i don't yeah it, it depends what you guys want to do. You could maybe look uh, the tent, see if there's some work there, but I'm probably going to spend my night having a few drinks and playing some music for the, the upper class, you know? Okay. I'm going to walk around town a bit. Wesley, do you want to walk with me? Uh, no, but I don't want you to go alone. What time of day we'll is go it? Go with uh, So now it's probably about you know, <laughs> 2, 3 o'clock. Uh, it's... it's uh springtime so it's starting to get a little bit you know darker or excuse me lighter later mm -hmm. does that make sense like, sort mm -hmm. of like it is now um and so it's still totally daytime like you're you're okay. good um but it's it's not 
high noon or anything. Well, maybe if, if you guys go and talk to the elves slash try to see what the work is with them, uh, me and Gilbert can uh, just potter around and do our own thing. Um, I'll, I'll tell him what okay. the deal is when he uh, finishes his bath. Oh. Well, have fun with the merchants. They're usually not too interesting. Oh, I, I find people who have lots of money very interesting, especially oh. sometimes you can uh, get some of that gold from them if you play the right song. That's true. It, it, right. Okay, bye-bye. Hestia's going to walk out. <laughs> I'm going to go back to... Uh, I'm going to follow her. I'll, I'll, I'll scamper after them. I'll go Just, and wait for Gilbert. Like not Walking at a brisk pace towards the merchant square. For a gnome. Um, yeah. <laughs> thrust as you go as you go into the bar, you'll see me coming down the stairs in like fresh clothes, mm-hmm. and um, and I, and I actually start to turn towards the bar and see you. And I'm like, hey, thrust, hey, thrust. the bat, the bat, bath was awesome. Water didn't last long though. Uh, it did. I feel like a new orc. It's very nice indeed. Um, ah, yes. Do you have any business in, in town this afternoon? I have a little task that I want to get done, um, but if you if you have anything that you need to do, uh, we can do that instead. Actually, no, but I would love to explore this town. I mean, besides the bad smelling area, I mean, this gentleman's very nice. I'd like to meet the meet, meet all the people. Perhaps perhaps when we come back that that one one guy will be here and we can take care of his monster problem that would be nice indeed yes um where are you guys talking just this is at the 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 thorn no no at the second place whatever the not with the dwarf bloody thorn no 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 no, no, where is the nice place yeah yeah are you in the room you you never told us the name of the nice place uh that would be the golden stove okay uh we are yeah we're in the bar of the yeah we're in the bar just Talk, talking to each other. The bartender uh, notices you. It's kind of quiet at three. <laughs> and he notices you guys talking and says, Ah, you guys must be talking about Aldo. He has been looking for work. You really should go and talk to him. He's been set up in the market hiring farmers. In the market? Is that, is that the one with the really long line of elves? Because to be honest, I don't want to stand on that. Can well, you... Are you friends with him? Are you fr- Can we like get something from you that would show that we are staying here and that we could maybe talk to him about some other kind of work besides farming? Do you have well, like a sigil uh, or like a letter? You I could wouldn't write say it? I wouldn't say I'm friends with him, but what I would say is uh, our keys. And he points to your very heavy key, which I'm assuming you've set down on the table, or maybe it's hanging from your pocket, and it has sort of a chain on the end of it uh, with a pendant. A golden pendant, uh, and it's it's like very showy, very flashy. It says those are known around town. <laughs> is, ah. is the pendant worth more than ten gold? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, uh, maybe we'll go talk to this Aldo before before tonight. Um, and I, I tell I tell Gilbert what the others are doing, and I tell him ah, that okay. we should probably go join them and show them the pendant and say that maybe this will get us an audience with someone who could give us a proper job. Not that farming is not proper work, but we're not farmers. Yeah, no, no. I, I gave up that that long time ago with the dwarven minutes. Mm. Um, well, this... um, I, I, I still have this thing that I, I want to do, so maybe I can give... If, if you join with the others, you can sort out this... Job for us. I, I just, I just have one little thing I need to do. Not that, uh, not as you important to, as finding it. You want me to come with you, or, or, no, no, or not, you want me? To... Not necessary. It's just a little, uh, just a little task I, I need to do. Um, okay. Out of character. Mm-hmm. Is this the point where you turn against the party with your own agenda to rule the world? Yeah. This is <laughs> this is when I yeah, poison you. Yes. Sleep. This is when I kill Poochie while you're away. <laughs> Um. Actually, actually, no. I was gonna. Um, actually, I was gonna leave Pucci there to rest because I mean, yeah, it's been a long day. Um, we're we're just yeah. in town, so. But yeah, I'm carrying my sword, obviously. But. I'll I'll message. We don't need to RP it. I'll just I'll message. Um, I'll message you, um, Jim, what I'm doing while the others are doing their stuff. Um, okay, if you're cool with that, and the other Sounds people good. can do their stuff. 
All right, so yeah, I'll just take take the key and start out to the line through the fastest, non smelliest par parts of town. So, oh. and at, as I pass where that secret boxing thing was going on, is it still going on? Uh, yeah, it's died down there. It seems like they're between matches. Uh, okay. Um, so then if you're I'm... looking for not smelly, that would be this way. Okay, yeah, then I'll um, go ahead and uh, just go down the, this, the, this way here and, I don't know, guess go here and then find the find where the line is at and stay in Are you, stay are you by line. yourself or are you with everybody else here? Uh, well, I was going to try to catch up with everybody else, but um, I was just going to... I was just gonna start walking to wherever they were at, but I know, but um, which I believe they were told to go to the same place that I was. <sighs> to stand in the long line of elves. I see it stand in a line. <laughs> so the line goes. Um, I don't know how to whisper in roll twenty. We're going to Discord. Uh, so okay. Whisper. Okay. It's, it's... Um, <laughs> Uh, so, what is everybody else doing? You have was you're all going, going with Gil Gilbert, Gilbert here? Nope. Left, okay. left a good one thing. Yeah. Where, where is where is everybody else going? Was walking towards the market square. Okay, yep. so you're already down here, and Gilbert's trailing behind you some at some point. Mm -hmm. that, that's what I'm hearing. Mm, okay. I'm, I'm curious. So, what are you curious about? Well, I I thought the token would come down really small, and I could like put it where I would be at, but that's okay. Come down really small, so you could put it where you're at. Yeah, yeah, because I was gonna take my token and put it like right, right, right here, so you know where I'm at. But when I dragged it down, it was really huge. I can get your tokens. They will probably be really big, but we can copy paste them onto this map if we want. Uh. Where the hell is the token page? There it is. There's so many of these. Let's see if I can have these properly. <laughs> I'll, I'm just gonna go, I'll be two seconds. Uh, all right. Okay. You should be able to modify these on your own, I'm hoping. Can not move no. the token. <laughs> no, I, we don't have access to them. Oh, damn right. it. Uh, okay, give me a second here. I will resize and. So, Poochie's over here. Yeah, he's getting pampered. A Poochie's father. Oh, I can move mine. Yay! So, I'm going to be over here. Uh, waiting for a chance to talk to the guy and for my group to catch up with me. You guys aren't here already. We would have gotten there before you. Yep. So. Okay. I am changing tokens as quickly as I can. Uh, Lyra, um, did, did you have to leave because of the, the, the displacement? Uh, no, I had left way before the displacement. Oh, so you were displaced before the displacement? That sucks. In a way, yes. I was displaced before the displacement. <clears throat> Alright. I think all those tokens are supposed to work. Token, token, tokens. Okay, so uh, just a just a heads up. I, I think Hestia might get us into trouble at some point. She she likes to talk to people, and that doesn't really work well with me. I'm not saying nothing wrong with it. I'm just just a warning. She she's she's really nice, but she she talks a lot. Yeah, she is. <laughs> um. Ah, okay. Okay, so now we're sorry about the token stuff. So we're back to you guys are at the market, and um, so your uh, you'll notice that around here oh, worked uh, here is the tent. 
uh, that's been set up, and it's quite large. Uh, and there's other tents as well around here. But this, there's one that's a little bit bigger. So there's tents down here. And you see that the elves in the line are, are pretty much stopping at each one in order. Uh, it seems quite orderly, like weirdly orderly. Uh, and they're going down. And as they come, they come out the other side. And they are greeted on the other side of the tents by food and other shops over here, as well as, um, you know, other vendors trying to peddle their goods, although to no avail because these people don't have very much money. Um, you'll notice here there's a big statue. Uh, the statue is of a sort of... Um, it's like a minotaur looking. It's kind of weird. Uh, it sort mm -hmm. of seems to stick out. Uh, and then as as you approach this tent, you'll notice there, there are some guards on duty uh, standing around. Uh, they have spears. And there's... Uh, quite a few people at a table with a guy in sitting at a chair in the back just kind of looking over everything at the big one. And does, does any of them match the description that the tavern guy gave me and Thrust? So the tavern guy told you uh, he's human, he's mm -hmm. blonde, and uh, he's uh, quite tall, but not Overly tall. He's probably about six feet, and he will probably be wearing a blue, uh, a blue tunic. And he does appear to match that description. And that's the guy in the in the big the big tent. Yes. <clears throat> okay. So once I see him, I want to be a I'm gonna be my usual Gilbert self. All excited, like sir, 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 and I and I, and I like wave the key at him as as I like. Ran, ran it to him like i was told to have, to ask about about your monster problem okay so you you're trying to get behind the tables and everything in the guards no 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 no, no. I'm, I'm running up to the table he's at. Oh, up to the table okay so he's started behind the table so think of it like this you have the two long tables with four people sitting up at the two at each table and they're taking down names and describing things uh down on the sheets uh, as okay. people come up Okay. And so, you see some so gold like, changing hands. So I, I'll like run up to the table and like stop and like I'll peer, uh, kind of peer over with my hands holding the key. Like we were told to come down here and sit and, and ask you about, about your monster problem. Uh, all the people around you go like look at you and like you can see the elves going, what's your problem? What the, what's that mean? Is there, is there, oh my God, what does that mean? And then he looks at you and goes, ah, I'm not exactly sure what monster problem you're talking about, but uh, he kind of glances at the key and says, perhaps we can use your assistance. And he beckons you inside the tent. Uh, does he, he sees the rest of you are together, correct? Uh, um, well, I ran, I, ran, I ran up there. I don't know if they ran with me or stood so many feet uh, behind me. Or... We probably saw you. But I leisurely walked behind. Okay, so he sees you, and he sees uh, he he um, goes and waves actually to the others who are a little bit farther off, and says, "Come on in." He like you know, but with a wave, and he doesn't actually say it. Uh, mm -hmm. And he's he seems very excited to see adventurers in town. Awesome. So I'll just I'm just yeah. like gonna get off my tippy toes and just walk underneath the table, going, "Man, this is convenient." And so as you go inside, uh, he says, I'll be there in a moment, and turns back out. Uh, does Hestia go with? Yeah, that's what I was just about to ask. Is everybody in the tent? I I guess so. I am. Okay. Yeah, if Hestia goes, I'll go. <clears throat> okay, it's, so you guys are on the tent. Is the tent dark, or is, or is, is, there, is there enough light coming through the tent that I won't need, need like a torch or anything? Oh, it's say. nice inside. It's, 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 okay. Fancy chairs, you've got a rug set down, there's a table, there's um there's like a small barrel of some sort of like you know liquor or something and some glasses uh which look very nice for like you've, you've never seen glasses these days and so you see there's like boxes and lots of food stuffs inside as well um and it's sort of a mix of like merchant quarters as well as just like a really nice 
place to him, like for him to be. Uh, and so, as you're inside, he he turns out to the table, uh, says a couple of things, and comes back in. Uh, if you guys want to try to listen to what he was saying, you can let me know. Um, yes, I uh, I will because I'm quite curious about this human and what he's talking to and all that kind okay. of stuff. So I'll kind of follow close like to curious. the um, flap and try and try try to give a listen. Do you want a perception roll or investigation? Yeah, give me or... a perception roll. Okay, so you hear him say, "There is no monsters to worry about. Everything's fine." Please just approach the table and sign up here uh, to be put in on the wait list for tenancy on the new land up north. And then he comes and turns back in and enters the flap. Do you want to um, make a deck save to try to look casual? <laughs> or do you want him to just catch you? <laughs> Um, let's try to do a deck save, see if I can look nonchalant like I've been there the entire time. You look, you, you jump out, uh, you see that he's about to come in and you, you jump out of the way, uh, sort of farther away from where your shot would have been. And so it doesn't seem like you were spying on him or anything like ah, that. There we go. And he, he comes in and says, wonderful, please take a seat. And there are like wooden stools, uh, that you can you can sit on and he sits in this great big chair uh blue. i'm gonna get on a stool and just stand on it so i could be head height okay <laughs> i'm actually gonna get on gonna get on one of the nicer stools and like and sit on it have like my legs waving in the air <laughs> i'm just i'm just just like staring at my legs going how can people be can walk like be this tall he waving says, my feet. he says you all you look much more uh what's the word sorry there's a word that I was thinking, and I can't. You look much more capable than the rest of the lot out there. I have, indeed, a monster problem. Don't go shouting it out to everybody else. We're trying to get people to live on the land now. But we do, indeed, have an issue. What's well, wrong? You see, we've had all of this new land become available. And as we settle on it, we're chopping down woods and... Uh, taking uh, away some of the places that uh, some of the beasties in the woods have been calling their home. And as they move away farther and farther from my land, well, they, uh, they've they been a little bit unhappy about that. But, uh, you know, progress and, and whatnot. So we must go on. And there will be uh, land settled in these places. And in order to secure them, I'm going to need to clear out some of these uh, beasties. We've seen uh, everything you can imagine up there, uh, and I'm sure that we'll um, we'll be able to make very good use of your assistance. Ah, excellent! Excellent. Sounds like fun. What's the what kind of things do you see out there? Do you see dragons? Uh, do you see griffins? No, let's, let's not get too crazy. Griffins is more like it. You've seen. You'll see that there's many things up there that don't want to live anywhere near a, a town such as this. Uh, I've heard rumors of many things living in the hills, and uh, since we're pushing closer to the hills nowadays, I'm not exactly sure what you'll encounter. Uh, but there's a particular hole that they've been held up in and calling them a home for themselves, and they come out and they cause a ruckus in our all my places nearby, and I need them yeah. taken care of. He is there a new, spot nearby has... that's been recently bothered by the beasties that we could maybe look at? Well, he uh, pulls out a scroll from a, a small, um, it's not like a barrel, but it's like a container scroll case. of paper stuff. It's not It's not quite a scroll. It's like an umbrella holder, but it's full of scrolls. Does that make okay. sense? Mm -hmm. And he, pull, he pulls yes. a scroll out and plasters it down on the table and sets up weights on each side of it. And you notice it is a world map, or excuse me, it's a map of the island, which I. It's totally a Google have. map. It's Google Give me the GPS. Yes. Um, <laughs> it's a magic map of tracking. <laughs> <laughs> Do they actually have that? That would be hilarious. We I'm can to make one. Where put it. Oh, apparently I yeah. never made a. I, I never. Made 
thing to bring you to. So it's a handout that I'll present. Yeah, to you. I can see that map. You are here. Oh, I actually, big, a big red in. dot. <laughs> okay, give me one second to put it in the system. Because uh, it's a very detailed map. Ooh, nice. Very and nice. So he says, he looks at down at the map and he says, "I've got some." land and he points to a specific place which you'll see in a second and he says this is where we've been settling up and here he points to some hills uh is where we've seen uh these beasties going and sneaking off into the woods into the hills of all these little holes and there's one hole in particular that's been very stubborn and none of us want to get near it what's wrong with the hole well beasties it's got are... lots of stuff in it Oh, I never downloaded it either. Wow, look at me. Let me go to incarnate. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Here we go. It should be mostly done. I hope so. How do you download a map, sir? I've never heard of that. <laughs> do not fuck with me, Gilbert. <laughs> Poochie loses 10 hit points to chronic damage. <laughs> Poochie becomes a bad dog. <laughs> <laughs> Poochie, ha Poochie becomes Cujo. He is no longer the good boy. <laughs> Poochie rides you from now on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, actually, oh, that, 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 that actually be hilarious. Like, two wizards like, polymorph me into Poochie. And no, no. Into me. Just, just, as, just as Gilbert. He's going to get a sled and have you and a bunch of other halflings pull it for him. <laughs> At In 25 Dunsel, movement speed. Gucci ride you! <laughs> oh no, that could get taken in so many wrong ways. Poor Gilbert. <laughs> He's too small for that pooch. All right. Oh, nice. Yeah, let me resize it for you. So we're in Dunsol, correct? Correct. Oh, whoa. Densol, which is all the way down there. And... Yeah. Alright, and I am shifted out all the way. So where's the skies at? Bottom so board. he points... He points to... Uh, yes, yeah, so that's where you are right now. And he points... He says his, his land that he's been gifted or granted, whatever, is... Oops, it's in the squares. I need to turn off the squares. Uh, okay, so he says the land he's been granted is over here that he's been settling recently, and in here it have has been quite a bit of trouble for him. Uh, okay, and so he points to this area here as being troublesome, and that this area in here is where he's currently settling. And he says, I've got plenty of gold. I just need this taken care of. Since so, you have a lot of gold, could you use your resources to get me something other than gold for completing the task? Well, what are you looking for? Still, spells. Spells? Yeah, I can... I, can... I just kind of pull out my spell book and open it to him, showing him various pages. He says, nice book. He looks at you like you're a little bit of a kid. And <laughs> great job. <laughs> and he says, you guys take care of this for me, and everything is all set. Not only will I be able to pay you, but just as uh, with anything here in Dunsoul, which you will soon learn, connections are everything. And if you have mm, excellent, me, excellent, you'll have no problem getting anything you need as far as merchants are concerned as long as you have the gold so about how um i've never been to this island before how long will it take us to get from here to your land well depends on your method of travel if you're traveling uh on horse you should be able to get uh up to riverhead in a few days and then uh once you're in riverhead you'll be able to go up hills bard is a couple more days as well once you get into the hills it starts to get a little rougher, um, but it's not too bad. 
I was told as a when I was a, when I was a young and fat, you big people every now and then have ferries going up rivers. Do you have one of those going up this river to this big lake area? And I, and I try to like you know look above the table as I'm pointing to the lake with <laughs> one finger and drawing it up to the big um big big lake. He looks at you and goes, "You are a very smart man." That is exactly something we are looking to do. But unfortunately, and he points to uh, this piece here, he says, unfortunately, this river has a bunch of rocky um, coast and rocky riverbed. And right here, it's too shallow. One of the things I've been thinking about working on is to clear that area in order to be able to put a boat all the way up, all the way to Riverhead. Uh, currently, we have boats that live out on the lake uh, doing trade between Lake Mont and Riverhead and, uh, you know, depending on who you know, maybe some other stuff. But you've got nothing that can actually come down south. He's, he sounds very excited about this. Like, he, this is business for looking at. And mm -hmm. he says, I've been thinking to clear this exact area and enable that exact method of travel that you've just talked about. Seems to me it'd be the fastest way from down here to up there. Nothing against, because you know, I, I have my own mouth and I love to ride, but I know some people aren't aren't riders. And I look over to Wesley, like because I saw how he didn't like the boat too well, so I'm not really, really sure how well he'll do on horses. Um, so like you know, like that may be like easier for other people. Uh, but since you don't have a fence, I guess we'll have to get some horses. Is there? Any, but I, because well, I'm in Mount, but my friends don't. Is there any place that rents or sells horses? Are are, are these monsters just making where you're wanting to, to settle difficult, or are the roads safe too? Uh, the roads safe up to Riverhead, uh, thereabouts. But after that, it gets a little rougher. The so he points down to the map again and says, "This area is newly acquired." We've been settling it and making sure to chop down all of the woods in the area in order to make farmland. Uh, and this area is a little older, um, although it's not too, it's not saturated yet, but it is still older and more settled. So on your land right now is there somebody in charge looking after it i mean would, if we go there will we have to like give somebody a uh, like a note from you or something to allow us yes, on there yes, without them course. trying to I hurt us care of all of that don't you worry you just have to worry about whether or not you are willing to accept this contract well do, do, do you know what, what what kind of monsters are, are there i think uh, they're dragons no there are no dragons he laughs at you and goes not quite dragons, but there are uh, things that I've been told are oversized beasts and all manner of things that live in the woods and hills. Mm. Things that seem unnatural. And Kilbert, Kilbert first looks disappointed at dragons, but then when you mention all that stuff, he's like, hey! it's." I haven't been there myself because I don't go meddling in the hills. I'm not... He looks at you and goes, I'm not one to go and get myself all dirtied up for no reason. But I do have people who have told me it is quite the task, and I've been looking for adventurers just like you ever since. How, how much are you thinking of, of paying us? Oh, that's a good question. And he looks, he opens a book, uh, holds it only so that it's visible to himself, flips a couple pages and goes, I should be able to manage a couple hundred gold for this each. Oh, wow. Nice. In How's 200 gold a piece sound? Uh, that's cool, but do we get to... provide us with two or three mounts. I feel it is in your best interest to expedite having this cave cleared. And you don't know exactly what beasts lurk in it, so it could be more dangerous than anticipated. So I think providing us with transportation to get there would be Fair trade. Very smart indeed. Well, go ahead uh, and let old... <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> go ahead and let old Danny boy know th at the, the Golden Stove that it's on my tab. You can take whatever horses he's got available. Can I insight check, check him to see if he thinks this is something that we're going to be able to come back from? 
Uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, actually, yeah. And... <laughs> uh, so <laughs> this, this is why we, this is why we should roll got last behind session. the scenes. This is why I should roll inside check. <laughs> um, but so he, you definitely <laughs> think he's completely sincere. You think he, he's totally, uh, has complete faith in you and, uh, you know, you're going to be all set. Okay. He mostly just wants this done and take it. Now, 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 I know you haven't mentioned this yet, but, um, we get to keep all the stuff in the monster's layers if it's anything valuable, right? What do you mean valuable? It's in the hills. Well, yeah, I know, but monsters get all sorts of stuff when they kill people. I don't know what you're talking about, but okay. <laughs> he looks at you like with a look of disgust. Why so, you would want to keep anything found in a cave full of <laughs> monsters. <laughs> okay, but, but if I come out with a bag of like of gems worth $5,000, I'm keeping it. Because What's a dollar? He looks at you. I, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I'm a golden <laughs> because, uh, It's if halfling you, if you find, if, if you find oh. a bag of gems in that, I'll, I'll eat my hat. I want okay. to find a bag of gems in that cave. Hmm. All right. Well, What's Lee's well thinking I'm... one of those fruit hats? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm all set. You guys all set? Um, um, I still want to... It's getting kind of late, so it's probably best we head out in the corner. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Best. I'd and like I to have... see if there's a library in town. Okay. Uh, uh, so, are you looking to leave this guy's tent now? You're you're done with his his interaction. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. So he said he sees you all get up and stands up himself and says, "All right, give your names to the wonderful lady at the end of the desks outside. She'll take you down, and I'll make sure everything's sorted out after that. Otherwise, you're good to go." Hestia will shake his hand now that they've reached an accord and head out by oh, hopping off of her bar. Stool. Perfect. He looks at you guys like, ah, yes, this is exactly what I needed. <laughs> uh, Gil More dead bodies. By and then goes outside. <laughs> um, okay, so you said you wanted to look for a library. Let's go back to the town. Well, we have to mm -hmm. do stuff with the one lady first, right? Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, so as, our, as you our exit the, the tent, uh, he he puts his hand on her shoulder uh, and leans down and whispers in her ear and then goes back inside his tent and waves to you all. And she says, okay, he's uh, filled me in. Uh, your names, please. And she takes them down unless you want to role play that or give some sort of other name or something. Hestia is going to give her name to the woman in Draconic just because they seem snooty. <laughs> she looks at you and goes, Please don't make my job any harder than it already is. <laughs> okay, okay. She seems real tired. Name in common. <laughs> okay. So she writes down all your names. Uh, do you give her thrust name? Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and Poochie. And yes. Nick. <laughs> she notices there's more names. There's more names on here than you currently have. And she goes, there are others in your party then? We yes. have thrust and he's really nice. And we have Poochie. And Nix, who is right here, I think. She looks yeah. at the cat and goes, Okay. The... And she crosses out the name. We won't be paying the cat. <laughs> oh. And I just it's laugh. It's okay, Nix. And... We'll, we'll get you I... really nice things to eat. I just laugh and giggle as they walk away going, <laughs> I'm just going to pay Poochie. <laughs> <laughs> she definitely scribbled out Poochie's name. <laughs> oh. um, okay, so mm -hmm. let's drag you back over here to the city. Um, I will actually follow Lyra as she goes to to the library because I'm still interest, interested in um, walking around and exploring the town. Hestia is going to split off from them. And look for a shop that would sell alchemical ingredients and herbs and shit. I'll go with Hestia. Okay. Ah, so so they're calling it alchemical ingredients nowadays, huh? I see how it is. Um... That is what they've always called it. <laughs> 
So, so Lyra, what, what, what do you need the library for? Uh, I, I just want to see if I can find out a little bit more about that area and what kind of creatures are found there. Oh, that's per that's per that's smart. I, I like to be prepared for a hunt. Okay, so as you guys are out in the market and you're looking around, um, and you're looking for different shops, give me your uh, perception. Or I guess it would be investigation. Yeah, I think this is more investigation. Okay. Investigation? Okay. Yeah, give me investigation for whatever it is you're looking for. Well, I'm with the you're a little... Not intimidating. Uh, Damn it, Wesley. Learn to read. God damn it. <laughs> Your dyslexia is showing. Okay. Uh, wow, you guys sucked. Um, so, so. Here we gotta, uh, I don't think we can find that library later. I'm sorry. Uh, um... Hestia, I, I said those buildings with the red lights are something different. It, it's over here. But they had so many nice ladies around it. Oh, Hestia, please. <laughs> oh, fine. Um, so over here, whoops, sorry. Uh, over here, this sort of district seems to be merchants uh, and traders, specifically people who work with their hands, people who are making goods, uh, food stuffs, as well as uh, traders. These are common looking uh, people, they don't have immense wealth or anything like that. Uh, you'll see blacksmiths, tailors, etc. Uh, there. If you're looking for alchemy, you won't see any immediately. Lyra or Lyra, Lyra's looking for uh, the library. The, the the library, yeah. Um, so Lyra and Gilbert, you looking can't for see library. any library Hestia around. And Wesley uh, looking for the market. Hestia and Wesley. Wesley spots. Uh, down this Ooh, shit, I'm moving the whole map. <laughs> uh, let me get out of it. Well, that's one way for us to get to it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, down this alleyway, well, it's not really an alleyway, it's a lane. Um, there are some shops which deal in magic uh, down here, these three. They're big, they're bigger buildings, but they're cut. Uh, so, like, on each side of, like, this road has stalls on this side, and this, uh, and they're in the same building, but they're, they're not all the way back. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. Tessie is going to drag Wesley inside of one that looks like it's selling ingredients. Okay. Sorry, I'm taking a little note of where you get most of that. Okay. And you get inside, and you're looking for ingredients specifically? Yep. Okay. Whoops. It's just going to say hello to whoever is managing it. Still dragging Wesley over to them. Um, so you see there are people talking uh, outside who are exchanging scrolls and uh, different things, uh, talking about different uh, techniques for scribing and all that. And as you approach the door, you'll see that it's one story. Uh, the building is two stories, but you see this, the shop doesn't appear to have any stairs in it. And uh, there's stained glass windows and a tall elf uh which is the shopkeep uh named Vincis. Uh and there's lots of candles and chandeliers and lit like the light is all flickery and flamey. Um and there's plenty of scrolls about as well as uh oils and elixirs, lots of potions stuff like that. Ingredients out in, some of them are in bulk uh, that you can see. Uh, and the, the elf greets you and says, ah, yes, hello. Welcome you have to a very home. beautiful shop. Yes, thank you. I take very much pride in my shop's ability to serve my customers. Uh, I might visit again, but right now I'm looking for ingredients specifically to make medicines and potions to heal. Ah, I've got all of that that you could possibly need. 
do, do, do you uh, have any troll's blood? That's pretty good for that. Troll's blood? Troll's blood. blood. <laughs> <laughs> is that, is that actually an ingredient? Out. Um, uh, I've, I've seen it used in potion making a lot because trolls regenerate. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Misty is just going to pull out 10, nah, 15 gold pieces and put them on the counter. I just need 15 gold worth of materials for crafting. Okay, and we, I believe we said that that would be how, how much, how do we, what do we settle on for the potions? Uh, I, I... To make a regular potion, it is 25 GP worth of material, though this is, this is actually for something else SD is going to do. Oh, okay, all right. That's why <laughs> I was trying to figure it out. So uh, she says, and you need healing potion materials, correct? Uh, just or any he... materials for making medicine. Ah, yes. Okay. And he pulls a, a like a basket from a drawer and uh, s- sets it on the counter and says, this is everything you could possibly need. Pick what you need and we'll total it up. Okay. Now she's just going to go through it, grab all that it, all she needs, and kind of put it in a bag. Perfect. She takes, or he takes your, your 15 gold and says, this will cover it just fine. Thank you. No problem. Come again. <laughs> we His definitely name was Vincis? Vincis. Um, as you exit the shop, you'll see the sign says, Vincis and Atlags, Oils and Elixirs. I'll spell it for you. So they definitely sell potions wholesale more than they sell ingredients, but they do still have, like I mentioned, they still have some bulk ingredients and stuff like that. Uh, that is all that Hestia will be doing, though she will go back to the inn and just start making medicine with all of that. Okay. So then Hestia is going back over here. And uh, so let's go next then. Who who else was looking for what? Lyra uh, and <clears throat> Gilbert were looking for a library. Yes. Yes, I was just trying to help her. I have no real interest in lo- lo- looking for for anything. Okay, well, you don't see anything resembling a library. You do see lots of shops over here, like I mentioned before. Uh, can you make a perception check for me? Both of us? Or... Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, Lyra and Gilbert, yes. Okay. Uh, you said perception? Yep. Mm-hmm. I can't see anything today. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I mean, if Poochie was here, he probably would sniff us to the library. But that's about it. Just so, follow the smell of books. Yes, they, follow the smell of knowledge. Since so you guys are just helping each other, what if you could always just be doing the aid action? Hmm? That's right, we could. One of us could aid the other and get that advantage. I think it's too late after you've already rolled, though. <laughs> but that's no yeah. fun. Mm-hmm. But that's yeah, no the, fun. Point, the point is to see what you guys notice <clears throat> individually. And so uh, Lyra actually sees that um, the elves are all turned not in line for the line, but they're actually turned like 90 degrees facing so that they're all shoulder to shoulder in the line. And they're all looking at one person. Uh, you notice that uh, Thrust is over here. Oh, I need to get off of GM Lair. <laughs> I always hate doing that. I'm like, hey, he talking, you <laughs> speaking with a lot of the um, the people in line. Uh, as you you notice as well that this area is got a lot more um, larger businesses. You see things like that resemble banks here. Uh, these buildings are quite big and pretty nice. Okay. So that's the that's what you see looking south. Oh, okay. Well, if Lear points them out to me, I'll be, I'll like run up to, well, Lear, do you point thrust out to me? I'm just gonna kinda, is, is that thrust over there? 
What what is he doing? Oh oh, I I think he is. Let's go find out. And I just start to run run, run up to him, but I try and listen because I know no if he's performing, he doesn't like to be interrupted. So does it sound like he's like doing a performance or something? Nope. I yeah. I'm just talking to a bunch of elves, and you see me carrying a big, huge sack. All right, and in that case, I'll run up to him, going, "Hey, hey, Thress, what you doing?" Gilbert, how are you going? How did uh, the business end of tonight uh, go? Have we got oh, a job? It went, it went very well. Yes, we do. Um, we have to clear this cave full of monsters. Possibly, there's a dragon. Ooh. Mm, probably no dragon. That's oh. probably for the best. I don't think I'm up for fighting a dragon. Um, I'm just uh, getting to know some of these elven folk here. Um, what are you two doing now? We were trying to find a library, but they've hidden it pretty good. Mm. Uh, yeah, no luck so far. Uh, thrust... Do me a perception check Ugh. for the past. Uh, it's like for, for something you would have seen earlier. My minus one. In, what you would have seen something resembling. <laughs> in my minus one perception. Nothing. Uh, you, no. you did not notice a library earlier. I'm very self centered. Have... I don't perceive much. I mean, our, our perceptions aren't very good today. <laughs> no, no. It's a good thing Lear is around. <laughs> Um, I'm, um, I'm afraid I'm not quite sure where the library is. Um, yeah, I'm, I've, I've just been uh, in this area myself, so I haven't had a chance to explore too far from here. I'm sure I can ask around and find one. Well, I'm going to uh, continue talking to the elves, uh, hearing some stories. Um, I'll meet you back at the inn, Gilbert, unless you want to help me. Um, uh, what, what, are you, what are your plans now? Mm, I was going uh -huh. I was, I was to go to the tavern and eat, but I mean, if you're doing, if you, if you need help with something, I can help you. I would, I would not say no to some help. Uh, unless you need to find a library, of course. Um, I shouldn't be yeah. too much longer. I was hoping to find one, but uh, what exactly would you want company with? Well, I've got this big shack of bread here, and I'm trying to feed all these elves. Um, it's taken a bit longer than I was expecting, considering there's so many of them. Uh, perhaps you could help me just uh, spread out and uh, hand the loaves to the elves. All the while seeing that Thrust the Sharp bought the bread for them because that's the point, is for them to know that I'm amazing. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. I can do that. So I, like, grab, like, like four or five loaves out of the bags and run down the street going, this is th bread made by Thrust. Here you go, bread made by Thrust. And I Thrust made this bread. I yell out after him, the half-orc, the half-orc. Don't forget that I'm a half-orc. Oh. We're trying Thrust the half-orc. Half-orc is Thrust. He made the bread. We're trying to build a relationship between our peoples here, Gilbert. Hmm. Oh. I, th I think I will go ask around for a library. I don't particularly care for other elves. Fair enough. Um, good luck with your, your finding. Okay. So Thank you, you. Lyra, you see... Um, that there's most of the stuff over here is banks for sure, um, like banking, uh, guilds, etc., as well as. Um, are you friends with uh, Hestia? You guys have backstory together, correct? Yeah. Okay. Then do. Um... Can I give her inspiration before she leaves? Sure. It lasts for ten <laughs> minutes. Wonderful. Um, okay, so yeah. and I, I I threaten you with a piece of bread. And I'm like, you better find the library, all right? <laughs> <laughs> or that your bread. bread. Yeah, or your <laughs> bread. <laughs> that bread there is very stale, and it would hurt like hell to get hit by it. You better find that library. Okay. Well, you you notice that this building here, uh, here on this side, it's divided up uh, in half here this way. 
Um, but there's a sign on the here that GM says... layer as well. <laughs> Damn it! Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say every time. So this side of the building appears to have been apportioned uh, for the the dragon's chamber, which is uh, Hestia's guild o choice. Um, just so you know. And then um, there's some people standing guard outside, as well as there are many merchants across the market over here uh, peddling their wares. And uh, there's food stalls with prepared food, um, you know, soups, um, sandwiches, that kind of thing, um, bread and okay. uh, cheese. I think I will go up to like one of the, the little food merchant people. Okay. Any description? Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm, I have food in my mouth. Um, <laughs> it's yeah. fine. So you go up, and <laughs> this person's stall has some, uh, like a, a fire uh, going mm -hmm. in a metal cauldron, sort of being appropriated here. Um, and it seems that they poked holes in the bottom of the cauldron, and they've got um a, a top on it and there's something going on inside there uh you notice that they've got meat hanging behind them and they're serving uh sort of a piece of bread with both cheese and meat on it uh and people seem to be in love with it uh it's not like super expensive or anything you can see the coins exchanging hands are much smaller than gold pieces but uh, it does seem to be well well liked, and there is a long line. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna ask uh, the the person in front. I don't know. Um, how how much would how much meat, just plain meat, could I get for about one gold piece? He goes, shit, and takes your gold piece and hands you uh, like a link of sausages that just that was hanging from behind him. Uh, it smells extremely smelly, uh, like in like in a good way, like smoked. Okay. And uh, like they're clearly high in. Um, but you you have like maybe four sausages, five. Sausages. Okay, I'm going to wrap them up and put them in my pack for later. And uh, uh, would you would you happen to know where a library is in this town? Ah, uh, you'd like to go closer towards the school. Uh, go north. And he points this way. Oh, okay. Thank you. And I'll start walking in that direction. Perfect. So uh, you go up north and you'll notice like lots of other people at the market. You'll see over here is the bread place that the guard talked about earlier. Okay. Um, which seems to be baking a lot of bread. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, they don't really have as much of like a, a sign out front or anything, but they're... they're so really good. They've got like trucks, uh, not really trucks, but like uh, cartloads of bread being, uh, being sort of taken out of the back door, like over here. Uh, and then as you go north, you see that this building appears to be something resembling a library. Okay, I will go ahead and walk in. Wonderful. So as you approach, uh, you'll see there's students of people in robes. <clears throat> there's sort of um, people who appear to be studying or studying magic, maybe even, uh, running all about. And uh, it's very quiet, as the libraries usually are. Uh, and as you walk in, there, someone at the desk greets you and says, hello, uh, you appear to be new. How can I help you? Uh, yes, I was looking for some um, information on the island and like what kind of animals and creatures are found here do you, do you know what kind of book i could get um yes we do have books on that uh unfortunately you need to be a student to borrow the book but you may absolutely view anything that you'd like to in here we are a public service um but in order to borrow the books and take them out you need to be a student at the school uh so i can show you where the book is but i can't let it leave the library is that okay uh, that's that's fine. I have a few hours to spare. Perfect. And uh, the person uh, who is an elf with long hair, dark black hair, um, pale face, uh, almost like quite young, 
uh, even for an elf, like still very young. And he leads you to the um, the section which has sort of history and local uh, history uh, and says, there's a couple books on this shelf and points to a particular shelf midway height uh, on one of the larger shelves and says, this, this row here should do you pretty good. <clears throat> and then she pulls out one in particular and says, being from here, I know that this one is actually particularly good for descriptions in the south, uh, if that's what you're looking for. And hands it to you and says, is there anything else? Uh, no, that'll be it. Thank you. Wonderful. Enjoy. <clears throat> I'll kind of look through the books and take a few more and go sit down somewhere and start looking through them, kind of studying up on the area and what kind of things are found there and so on and so forth. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Um, how do you want to do, um, how do you want to do, do you want to try to roll for specific information now, or would you rather this sort of be general and maybe it'll help you later on? Uh, maybe general and see if it'll help me later on. Okay. Sounds good. So you peruse these books and um, find interesting stories, local legends, that kind of a thing. Um, excuse me. And you find uh, there's some histories of the lands, which interest you. You'll notice there's <clears throat> quite a rivalry between uh, the Picts who live in the north uh, and the, the Dun, the people of the, the, the Dun, who live in the south. You are currently in Dun Sol. Presumably you would be able to put together that those two are linked. Uh, okay. And you see lots of things about don't go into the hills. The hills are full of evil and the, all that good stuff. Um, the lake is supposed to be really pretty in the summer. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <clears throat> about what time is it by the time I like just um you'd spend probably quite a few hours I think yeah maybe, let's say three hours so you, it's definitely gonna start to get dark soon all right it's it's not dark that's particularly my yeah. problem it, it's just it's just uh, t I, I lost my train of thought you can, only, okay. <laughs> you can only handle so much book <laughs> well, no, this city, no. Not this my city's got a curfew. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Just in case, though. Um, so you go ahead and uh, do that. It's, while she's doing that, does anybody else have anything they'd like to do? Um, well, I assume by the time me and Thrust are done, I would, we would be going back to the... Um, yeah, to we're going to gonna hang out at our food. tavern. Okay. Has just been making medicine. There. Like specifically, just all those ingredients it's going to make simple medicine that's specifically tailored more to help general ailments, such as that of the giant line of elves. Wonderful. Um. Okay. So. Uh, so the, um, you're, you're making your stuff in your room and you've got the rest of you eating at the bars. Yeah. We, we'll be in our <laughs> fancy bar. Um, I'm not oh, sure okay, where yeah. Wesley wants to eat. He could, he could join us. I'm sure they would let us do that. Yeah. Wesley will eat at the, the nicer place just so he can sneak in where he's staying later because he can only do his disguise once a day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So are you in your like demon form right now? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. been that way. Yeah, for we, a while we, now. yeah, we me well I suppose how would we have would you cuz me and Gilbert were together and then I suppose you we we came and met you at the other bar. Like how how did the three of us join up? Uh, no, I would have came back with Hestia. Yeah. Um mm -hmm. I think um, I was thinking more along the lines. Me and you were eating, and then um, we also walked in to find us to spend some time. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. So yeah, we're we're eating at the fancy bar in Wesley. If wow, you're this, cool with this it. place is really nice. Hey, it's. I was surely my choice. 
Yeah, come in. Have, have a meal with us. Oh, if I'm not imposing. No, no, of course not. No. Is there anyone else in the bar? Uh, there are plenty of people. <clears throat> uh, you'll notice most of them are extremely wealthy looking. How do uh, they react to Wesley coming in? And myself, actually. They uh, don't really seem to necessarily notice you in particular. Um, but w there are some people who... So you guys are sitting at the bar? Yeah. Chat okay, so bartender. when you sit down at the bar, they're, they're sort of eager to chat you up. Like the people next to you, there is an older man. Uh, and he, he looks over at you and says, Ah, nice to finally see some adventurers back in this place. It's been uh, just just the local merchants for so long. Where are you guys from? Well, I myself am from uh, the the mountains uh, before the Great Displacement. Um, Gilbert here was from Hubhole, uh, a nice little halfling village. But yeah, we're, we're traveling around. Well, why do you say there's not any adventurers anymore? Do they not come to the island? Is it... Well, it's, it's just been that there's so many refugees lately. You don't see as many uh, interesting folk more folk that need help well i find most people are interesting if you get to know them uh not everyone's as flashy as myself and gilbert but uh, what is your and says oh you know what i mean <laughs> so uh what do you do here in the city oh i'm a i'm a merchant uh me and everybody else that generally comes to this establishment I'm mm. um, only here for the night before I go back up north. Uh, I'm just checking on my books and, and things down here, making sure everything's in order before I go back up with a load uh, a load of, of stuffs. So you sell books and scrolls and stuff? No, no, no. I sell mostly I do bulk food. Uh, once in a while, I'll get a special order uh, that I need to fill. But for the most part, it's food. Uh, once in a while, I get some things like pottery and luxury items like that uh, that people would like to, to get up north. So you you own boats that sail to the mainland from the island? Oh no, I'm a land merchant. Oh, so you trade within the island itself. I usually buy things from those who do do exactly what you've just stated. Ah, I see. Um, I'm assuming at this point you have told me what the deal is, Gilbert? Yes, yes, I would have. I would have more than likely. I was explaining it to you when um, Wesley walked inside, and we invited him to um to dinner. Yeah. So, um, what can we expect in the the hills? We've we've been told that uh, we have to go and clear out some beasties. Do you do you happen to know what's in store for us in the in the hills? Uh, we, we being adventurers, we are you know, prepared for all sorts of things, but it's always nice to know what you're walking into. He looks at you and goes, oh, the hills. Oh, I don't go over there as much as uh, some of the other more brave lads, but uh, my business is mostly between here and Riverhead and once in a while even Lake Mount. But only the braver go to Hillsbard. It's a bit farther away, uh, and the prices there are great, uh, because no one really wants to go over there, but I can't bring myself to do it. It's not worth the risk. Uh, because of the hills? Because of, uh, well, you know that the, the Dun and the Pick don't exactly get along, and as you go closer to the Pick territory, well, it's not exactly uh, welcoming. It's not that they've been raiding us or anything. It's just that no one's really sure what they're going to do, not to mention the hills are kind of full of all manner of things. Are they... Uh, are they uh, as hostile to travelers as well, or is it just the Dun people? If we were to go up there as ourselves, would we be... Uh, would we find any trouble in the Pickland? Well, they keep to themselves for the most part, and um, honestly, you're... You're... If you're coming from the south, you're from the south, if you catch my drift. Aye. I, um, I understand that. Um, but uh, thank you for your information, friend. Um, I, 
I dare say we're going to go into the hills, despite your warning. There's a lot of gold on offer for us, so... Uh... Well, you look more than capable compared to me. I... That may be. Um... Yeah, I'm... Done talking to you're, him. You're done talking to this yeah. guy? It's, it gets to that awkward stage yeah, of conversation like... where it kind of just passes <laughs> off. Well, I'm going to talk oh. to my friends now. <laughs> As... He goes, good talking to you. Always good to have adventures in here. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Um, a- as he leaves, I'm going to look around. Any lonely women in the bar? Oh, my fucking God. Rich women. Uh, he wants a sugar mama. <laughs> Get us a sugar mama um, and buy there, me some mama. There are two women down in the lounge. Uh, okay, is, so you're is... going with the uh, why quest when you can impress. <laughs> <laughs> One of the women is uh, sitting alone, and the other is with uh, who you would presume to be her husband. Uh, the woman sitting alone is wearing a uh, white, not necessarily a dress, like a cocktail dress or anything, but a white dress, flowy and uh, sort of opulent. And she's talking with uh, the the couple the that are there as well, uh, and they're talking about something you can't hear because they're kind of far away. Oh, okay. So, so she's not by herself. She's she's not accompanied by a man, but she is also like talking to the other patrons. Okay, then I'll then I'll leave her be. The only reason I ask is because um, one of my faults is um, I it's like it, I'm into all these vices, and to me that's food, drink, and women. Sounds good. So every time I go to, I get food, drink, and look to see if there's an available woman. Oh. What about fighting in boxing rings, is that one of your vices? Hey, yeah, actually, yeah, it is. He's on the look for a new vice. And at that <laughs> point, I'm like, Thrust and Wesley, let's go check out the boxing matches. And I whisper it really low because I have a feeling it's supposed to be secret. I mean, let's... I look at Wesley. What do you think? I mean, we'll make sure you're okay. You you won't be in any trouble. We won't, we'll not make sure you're safe. Um, if you I, want to I join guess us. If you're going, um, okay. I mean, it couldn't hurt. Little, well, I hate to call him little, but Gilbert here is as fierce as they come. If if he can't win a fight, then none of us can. If, uh, if anything, we should have a good time watching other people uh, beat themselves up. Yeah, let's have a drink. I mean, we don't need to stay in here. We've already got a job sorted, so <coughs> let's go have a look at what we've we've got on offer. Um, also, uh, this would be a conversation before this, um, but I, I go to Wesley and I'm like, so, uh, Wesley, um, you're okay with this contract that we've we've taken? We, we're we're I, going to go into danger, you understand? I, I don't really like violence, but I, I, I kind of, I, I, need, I need the money. and I, I don't really have anywhere to go, so if Hestia's going, I'll, I'll go. Uh, I, I understand okay. the, the plight of someone who needs money. Um, don't worry, okay. Gilbert here will keep you safe. Yes, I will. Well, I'll keep both you safe. Okay, and out of character, um, P- uh, Puddles, I love the way your guy says contract because it sounds like you're, you're an assassin and you're Go fine trying check. to see if Wesley's okay with you killing some, somebody <laughs> yeah. else in the group. I keep waiting for him to say, it belongs in a museum in Sean Connery <laughs> voice. Well, once we find an artifact that belongs in a museum, uh, <laughs> I will attempt that with my horrible Sean Connery accent. Um, but, but yeah, I suppose but... we're... But yeah, if those guys are okay with it, I start to walk outside the bar in search of the boxing match place. Is this an okay place to have a quick break before yep. we go punch some things? That sounds good. Ah, yes, because I need to um, go use the restaurant. Sounds good. 